against France. Well, I'm Peter Drury, and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Hello, Peter, and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Well, this guy has got great potential, and it's Paul Pogba. Not many players leave Manchester United and become better, but he's one. And not only has he improved his game, he's now one of the very best at what he does. Uh, a truly great midfield talent for me. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. Evra. Well positioned to make that interception. Ricardo Carvalho. Gian Moutinho. Gian Mario. Gian Moutinho. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. For Shelby. Tries to get it forward quickly. Now the pass. Evra. Paye. Passes it through. Tries a header! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. Cristiano Ronaldo plays it out to the wing. Defending was physical, no nonsense, and it had to be. Sanya. Now it's Shiru. Now it's Pogba. Sanya collects the ball from behind. Shot at goal! Paye goes short. And it's Evra. He's off on a marauding run. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Matuidi cuts it back. The ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. Steered out wide. Nani looking to get on the end of this. It's a throw in. Now it's Nani. Crunching tackle. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Giroud looks to dink one in. And it's half-time here. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone could step up and produce something a little more magical. It's a long forward pass. Evra. Conte. Giroud. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Jao Moutinho pumps it upfield. Hit long and direct. Nani. Gets into a good position. Forward it goes. Conte. France have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Pepe, Jao Moutinho is now the subject of some adhesive marking. 
Well, he's a, a source of potential trouble, so tight marking just has to be done. Nanny plays a clever pass. Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. Oh, that was a lovely little dink over the top just to get the runner in on the keeper, and what a pity he just couldn't produce a goal from that. Out to the left it goes. Evra. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Aim forward. Cristiano Ronaldo has a look to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. And it's Conte. Great challenge. Ball's gone out of play. France have a sub ready to come on. <laughs> Out again for a throw in. Just five minutes left. Nani. He acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too. That wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass. It only needed just a little bit more behind it. And he was through. Gets up to head it! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Musa Sissoko. And that's it. A uh, frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless.